Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some potential new features coming to New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just last week, Wave 2 of the long-awaited summer update was released, bringing even more content to New Horizons such as Luna and the Dream Suite functionality, which of course allows us to visit Dream Islands for the first time since launch, the Fireworks Festival and Red's Raffle, which is an event taking place every Sunday evening throughout the month of August, and of course a bunch of new seasonal items which are gradually unlocked over the coming weeks. This update is pretty significant and reinforces that more and more old features and characters from previous games will continue to be added to New Horizons for the foreseeable future, which is awesome. Anyway, as with every update, new information is uncovered from the game's files, which hint at upcoming features and events and things that may be added to the game later down the line. This isn't a new concept because as far back as the first few updates, data miners revealed features like the art gallery at the museum and special characters such as Leaf and Red were probably going to be added to the game. Of course, key mechanics such as swimming and diving were also discovered way before they were officially announced. And you guessed it, wave two of the summer update is no different. And thanks to the hard work of the data miners, some very interesting features have been revealed that could be returning to New Horizons. From this point onwards, we are going to be taking a look at the latest information to come from a recent data mine. So if you don't want to know specifics, you may want to click off this video. Anyway, despite most of the new contents of the summer update having already been announced in trailers, it turns out there are hints of two significant features uncovered in the game's code. You can see a summary here. I'll leave links to the tweet below. The first is a new type of item called 35 Gyroid. Now, as you probably already know, gyroids are a rather iconic item when it comes to the Animal Crossing franchise. They are basically another collectible set of items that just like fossils can be found in dig spots after it's been raining. And to be completely honest with you, it was super surprising not to see them in the game at launch. Of course, now we know more and more features are gradually being added, so it's not unreasonable to assume this new item type refers to gyroid items that would likely come in a future update. Gyroids usually come in subsets called families, where a set of two to four different gyroids match in theme, but differ in size. It's already been rumored that the integer part of the item type 35 gyroid refers to a quantity, and that there could be 35 families of gyroids added, which is possible given there are currently 39 known families of gyroids in past Animal Crossing games. So if you're still following my terrible explanation, this new item type may be hinting that somewhere in the region of 100 or gyroids could return to New Horizons, but of course, this is just speculation. It's also worth mentioning it's possible the 35 gyroid item was added into the game because of the gyroid furniture item that sits next to the bed in the newly added Dream Suite, but I think that's unlikely because that would be considered an item rather than an item type. Anyway, if that doesn't get you hyped for new content, this next feature will. The second feature hinted at in the latest update is vegetables. It turns out new keywords were uncovered in the game's code that are pretty obviously linked to different kinds of vegetables. These include VGT tomato, VGT wheat, VGT sugarcane, VGT potato, VGT carrot, and finally VGT squash, which of course all correspond to particular types of vegetables. Now this isn't the first time vegetables have been discovered in data mines. A few months back when the art gallery was revealed, it was suggested by data miners then that growing cycles of some of these vegetables were also a thing. So to finally see some accurate keywords for these types of items is really cool. Furthermore, even more references to sowing as in planting seeds and cooking DIYs were found, strongly suggesting at the very least, growing and cooking vegetables is coming in a future update. Now, cooking foods in Animal Crossing isn't actually a new concept, and as recent as New Leaf, the special character Franklin would visit during the Harvest Festival and cook up dishes based on ingredients collected from villagers around town. Sure enough, Franklin would cook the dish and then reward the player with furniture items. Now, it's possible these vegetables and the cooking references have been added in preparation for the Harvest Festival, but the hints at planting and growing cycles and cooking DIY recipes definitely hints there's more to this feature. 
Of course, other than the keywords themselves, all this is speculation and we can't ignore the fact that sometimes features get scrapped during development, so please bear that in mind. But the data miners have been incredibly accurate with every update so far. Personally, I can't help but imagine cooking up a soup over a campfire and drinking it to get fruit energy or to gift it to a villager over the winter. It would be super cute. So there we have it. It looks fairly promising that both gyroids and new vegetables with the ability to grow and cook may come to New Horizons in a future update. But what do you think? Would you like to see gyroids added? And do you have any space left on your island to add a farm or grow crops? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, as always, I'd like to thank the data miners for all their hard work and for sharing their findings within the community. I will leave the links to the original data in the description so you can check them out. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too and of course, if you you made it to the end of the video please comment gyroids just let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include what feature you want to see return the most i'd love to know personally i'd love gyroids to return but i'd also like to see the police station building return from new leaf anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace